Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at something called inheritance in C++. Uh, this is something which can get quite complicated, um, and most of the time you don't need the complicated stuff. And we're probably not going to cover the complexity of it in this introductory course, but it's important that we do look at it because it is an important part of C++. So let's let's um, create a class here. I'm going to um, define a couple of classes and I'm going to create them both here just above the main function just so that we can see them both in one place. So uh, let's create a class called animal and uh, I'll give animal uh, let's let's just give it maybe one method so we'll say public and um, let's say void speak and let's make speak do something uh, so I'm going to include um, I'm going to include yeah I've got iStream included already actually because I'm going to use see out so let's say in here see out um, let's make a generic sort of unhappy animal noise there Grr. so in my um, main class here I can create an animal like this animal, um, let's call it A, and of course I can call speak like this. So let's just, let's just run this, check that this is working. You never know. So it says guru. Now, uh, what if you've, you've got an existing class and uh, you want a new class that's similar to the old one, but just has some extra functionality, or it just has a few things changed compared to the old class? And that's what inheritance allows you to do. So I'm going to create a class here called cat. And notice um, cat is a type of animal. And this is important with inheritance. So we're going to take classes and we're going to create child classes from them or subclasses, you can call them. And the subclasses are a type of whatever the so-called superclass is. So animal is going to be the superclass cat is going to be a subclass. Cat is going to be a type of animal. So let's say here, class cat, and I'm going to say colon after the class name, public animal. And just put the brackets in there. So um, for the moment, I'm not going to give cat any functionality, but because we put colon public animal after the class name here, that means that um, cat is, is basically the same as animal here. Uh, so let, let's have a look at that. We can say here cat, cat, and cat.speak. And we can run this. So cat also says grr. Now we can, we can actually add new um, methods into cat that animal doesn't have. So um, let's say, for example, uh, a generic animal, um, it can have all the functionality that any kind of generic animal should have. But we, we might want some specific things in cat, like uh, what, what can a cat do that a generic animal can't? Well, let's say, for example, a cat can jump. Let's have a public and void jump. And let's just say in here, um, see out cat jumping. Obviously we'll put some real functionality in here in, um, in a kind of real world example. So now we can call cat.jump. Let's run this. So um, cat, it still has the speak method of animal, but we've extended it uh, and we've given it this extra method called jump. So I, although this is quite a, a small tutorial, I think I'm going to leave it there for the moment and we'll carry on looking at this in the next tutorial. Uh, so to practice this, of course, just create a class and then create a subclass of that class. So remember, this is called a subclass um, and we say that it extends cat or it's inherited. Uh, sorry, the cat is a subclass and we say that it extends animal or we can say that it um, it is inherited from 
animal. So cat is a subclass of animal. And we say that animal is the superclass of cat. So there's kind of a hierarchy in your, in your mind where animal is at the top here and below it is cat. We, we could actually extend the, the hierarchy further. So remember cat is a type of animal. And if we want to create a new um, subclass here, let's just do that actually. Let's say class, and now we need a type of cat. Well, what's the type of cat? Let's say tiger. Um, and we can say um, tiger is a subclass of cat. We could give that its own method as well. Like what can a tiger do that a cat can't? Let's say um, void um, attack antelope. Not many cats, not many house cats anyway, would attack a, a antelope, but a tiger certainly would have a go. So um, let's say attacking endler. And so now we could say tiger, tiger, and tiger's got all the methods that cat has. Like we can say tiger.jump. Uh, we could say tiger.speak. And we could say tiger.attack antelope. Let's run this and make sure that it works. So there we go, we've got attacking from our tiger here. But cat doesn't have doesn't have an attack antelope method. We can't say cat dot attack antelope. It's not going to work. Uh, and um, in, in fact, cat doesn't know anything about tiger here. An animal doesn't know anything about cat. But the tiger, it, it is a kind of cat. It knows all about this class. And um, cat knows all about animal. So here's, here's a superclass of cat. Cat is a superclass of tiger. Tiger is a subclass of cat. And tiger is a subclass of animal. And tiger is also an indirect subclass of animal. Um, because like a tiger can do everything that um, an animal can do here. So we've got this like hierarchy going from animal, cat, uh, down to tiger. Uh, yeah, so I really will leave it there. And um, to practice this, uh, I'd suggest creating three or more classes and make one class extend the other. And try to think of an example and a different example for yourself where that might make sense. Uh, you could think uh, about like, for example, a, a machine. Um, a car is a type of machine and a, a fiat is a type of car and so on, something like that. Anything really you could do with plants, uh, different types of people, or if you've got like a employee structure or whatever. Uh, Beginners often have this reaction to this, as I did when I started with this. Uh, like, what, what use is it, um, inheritance, and do you really use this in real programs? And the answer is absolutely yes. Not every program in C++ will use inheritance. I've seen very, very big programs that didn't use inheritance at all, but they weren't uh, actually well-written programs in any case. In fact, a lot of C++ syntax particularly by older programmers such as myself, is unduly influenced by C, which is, um, which is what C++ was built on. And C didn't have classes at all. It just purely worked with functions. So have a go at that. Define your own little class hierarchy. And we'll, we'll return to this a bit more in the next tutorial. So until next time, happy coding.